Hi guys, so now that you've created your video, you need to do some editing on it. And I'm going to take you through editing with Adobe Premiere Pro. So we open up Adobe Premiere Pro. Wait for it to load. And this is your welcome screen that you get in front of you. And we want to create a new product, a new project. So I click on create a new project. You want to give it a name. So the name of this particular video that I've recorded is Banner for YouTube. Okay, and I'm going to place it in that folder. You can choose whichever folder you want it in, but I want it in my promotional videos. So I say select folder, and you can select your various settings over here, but you can just leave it at um, whatever works best for your computer. I'm using the Mercury Playback Engine, GPU Acceleration, and you can use timecode, audio samples, HDV. And just say OK. And then it brings to you this page, you to this page. Right, now you have a couple of screens over here. This one over here, this section will be your effects that you're going to be able to apply to your video. This one over here is going to be the preview of your video. This one here is where your media will be kept so that you're going to put into your, your video. And then this one over here is your timeline that you're going to work on to do your editing. All right, so the first step is to import your file. So I'm click on the file and import. And then I go to the video that I just recorded. And open it. Right, so what's it done? It's, you see over here, it's put that file into this box over here. So it says there, drop media here to create the sequence. So I take that, I just drag it and drop it. Okay, so there is my video that I had just recorded, and I want to chop off the bits and pieces in the beginning. Right, so let's scroll it through and click on play. And then you can see it's Roy here from Roy Hyphen Wilson. And I can, to make my view a little bit um, easier, you can see over here. You can see where I started speaking. If you look over here, those bumps on the line over here, this is your audio channel and this is your video channel. So I want to start just before I started speaking. From there, I'm going to delete this first section because I don't need it. You can see now also the video picture is in there, and but there's no audio yet. So I waited in my recording, I waited a few seconds before I actually started speaking so that I could cut off this first section. Right, so there, I'm going to click on this one over here, mark out, and it's selected this portion before the cursor. Simply going to click on this button over here, which is lift, and it has deleted it for me. Now I just hover my mouse over the section, and I just click it, and I pull it into the start. So now my video starts at this point over here. Just go a little bit further. Obviously, you can go right to the beginning. Okay, so let's just drag it in to the beginning. Okay, so now my video starts at the beginning. Hi guys, Hi guys. it's Roy, Roy here from RoyHyphenWilson.com. Roy Roy and and playing. Okay, so then if there's a section that I want to delete within this video, I can do that as well. So over here in my video, I had a problem with my with my uploading. So I'm going to delete that section. I can just find where it was. I can drag it over here. Okay, so there it is. There's a section where I was struggling and so I don't need to show that section. So what I'll do is I'll get to the place where I started 
struggling with it. Double click on that. that. Right from there. Okay, so now I don't want this next whole lot of pieces where I was struggling to try and get my computer to work again for some strange reason. But what I do is I click on this button over here, it says mark in, and I've selected this whole section over here. So now if I delete, it's going to delete everything after this point to the end of the video. I don't want to do that, obviously. So now I'm going to just increase my, my view a little bit so that I can see where I am again. And I move my cursor to the right until I found my problem area so that I can I can just delete that section. Okay, let's start working from there. Okay, I'm going to make the resolution a little bit higher so I can catch it again. From there. Okay, so easy. I just click on this button over here now, mark out, and now I've selected this portion of the video that I don't require anymore. If I zoom out a bit, you can see it's just the section over here that I'm going to actually cut out. So now I click on this this one, lift, and it's deleted that whole section of the video that I don't need anymore. Right now, to to bring this piece to join it up. I just simply click on it and I drag it across. If I drag it up and down, it does. I can separate the video and the audio, but I don't want to do that. So I just drag it across till it touches there and it snaps to that piece of the video. You see how it snaps there. I can go beyond it, but I don't want to do that because then I'm going to lose portions of the video and I'm not quite sure what I will be losing. So I just bring it in, just snap it, and then I let go my mouse cursor. Right, so then we just go to the end of the video again because I'm going to want to cut out just the tail piece. And again, you can see over here when I stopped talking over there, I know that that was my, my goodbye. Click on play there. Bye -bye. Okay, up to there. So this portion from here onwards, I can get rid of it. So I click on this mark in and then I lift it and that is my video edited and ready to save okay so again just running through you can see sections where I cut out you see there that's where I cut out a section of the video and right in the beginning I can just drag this across as well quicker okay guys so that's it and um, what you need to do now is you need to export it so the first thing to do is on the top left over here click on file and save the reason I save it is because um, Premiere Pro requires a lot of memory and um, my computer sometimes struggles with the, with the memory and so what I do is I save it and if it does struggle, if it doesn't export it properly, then I close Premiere Pro and I reopen it again. But I, let's see if it works. Hopefully it won't do that to me. Okay, so what I do now is I click on File and Export. Down at the bottom here, Export, Export Media. And there's also a shortcut there. It says Control M. I could just have pressed Control M from the home page or the page where I was in. And I can just click on that. And then it comes up with a screen. So my export settings format is H264, high bitrate, and the output name is what I want to change. I want to change that, and I'm going to call this YouTube banner. And then I save. So it's given it the name because I want to save it with a specific name so that YouTube will find it or any search engines will find it under YouTube banner okay export video export audio the summary the output what it's going to look like and 
your audio settings can be AAC, AAC over there, and you can just leave all these settings just like they are audio quality high, bitrate 320. And then over here at the bottom just says export, so I'm going to export it. And then it encodes it. And that's going to take 22 minutes, so I'm not going to bore you with that. But once it's finished encoding, then um, you're good to upload to your YouTube channel. So guys, I hope that helps you. I know Adobe Premiere Pro has got many, many functions inside of it, but uh, we're probably not going to use 90% of those. But this is good enough just to cut out sections that we don't want. Um, we also have options if you want to play around with it, where you can increase the volume of your channel. Um, if, you're, if your recording was too quiet or if it was too loud, you can reduce the volume. And um, you can do kind of those kind of tricks to it as well. Just remember when you're working with volume, um, the, the easiest way to do it is before you start cutting pieces out, you change your volume or anything like that, any special effects, you change those before you start cutting pieces out because then you get the whole section all at the same time. Otherwise, you've got to select each section. So in other words, remember where I cut the, the, um, the videos into pieces? The first section and the second section, if I click on the first section only, it will only change the volume on the second section. So what you need to do is do it everything before you start it and then it'll do the whole lot and then you can do your clipping, your cutting and your um, shortening. Right guys, so that's it for me and I hope this has helped you and um, I'll see you again sometime on YouTube Studio. God bless and keep well. Cheers now. Bye bye.